Hello, and welcome to this demonstration of Number Bonds by Crystal Springs Books. Let's get started. There are four games to choose from. Pawn Bonds, which addresses number bonds or fact families from 0 to 10. It's most appropriate for primary grades, and it's the most concrete game. Students here are dragging frogs to complete the number bond. Then there's Bird Bonds, which addresses numbers 0 to 20, a little more challenging. We still have a concrete aspect to the game with the birds, but we've also added in the numeral as an abstract representation of the number. Then we have which number and which bond. These games go all the way up to 99, so they're appropriate for your primary grade students who are ready for the challenge of higher digit numbers, and they're also appropriate for your third, fourth, fifth grade student who's still struggling with some of the basic concepts of part and whole and how they relate to addition and subtraction. So let's take a look at each of the games. When you click Pawn Bonds, you'll be brought to a menu screen where you have some settings to choose from. The first setting is the range of numbers. It's set from 0 to 10, but let's say you're working on the number 5 this week. You can bring this down, and this will give you problems in the range of 0 to 5. You also have the option to turn a timer on or off and select how much time you want the students to have to complete the game. For this demonstration, I'm going to turn the timer off so I can show you some of the features of the game. There's also an option for the number of players. When you have the timer on, you can select number of players so they can compete against one another. With these settings in place, you're ready to play the game. With Pawn Bonds, you have the parts on the left and the whole on the right. In this case, we have a whole of three, three frogs. And we have a part with one and then a part which we need to complete. We need to complete the bond. So one and two will complete the bond to make three. Let's check our answer. We get our immediate feedback that it's correct. Let's do another one. In this case, we have a part of one and a whole of two. So the number we need to complete this bond would be one. One and one makes two. Correct. Let's see what happens when we get an answer incorrect. We have a part of two and a whole of four. So let's say we thought two and one made four. Let's check our answer. We get an alert that it's wrong. We have the option to try again or to skip it. If we try again, it brings us right back so we don't have to recount. And this time we realize we were missing one. Two and two make four. Then we check it and we get it correct. So this is Pawn Bonds, and what you'll see with this game is as students play it more and more, they start to group numbers in their head, and they become faster and faster, and their number sense gets greater and greater. And that's Pawn Bonds. I'll take you out of this game and show you Bird Bonds next. We're brought to the similar menu. We can choose our range. For this purpose, let's set it at 10. And here I'll show you how the timer works. We'll leave it on and we'll set it for 15 seconds. And here you could choose your number of players, anywhere from 1 to 4. And let's play. Again, on the left is your part and on the right is your whole. So 8 and 0 make 8. You drag them in and if he goes through the hole, then you've got the answer correct. You can see your time progressing up here also. 9 and 1 make 10. If you get it wrong, he shakes his head and flies away. And you're left with one less distractor. So that's Bird Bonds. I'll take you back to the main menu and let's take a look at these higher level skills going all the way up to number 99. You have a similar menu. For this purpose, let's take it down to 10 so we can make it easy on ourselves and we'll play the game. You'll see that it can go much more quickly because you don't have to drag. Two and three make five. You just select the number over here that completes the bond. These students will really like how fast this game goes. They can really rack up the points quickly. Again, if you get an answer wrong, then you have the answer to option to try again, and that distractor is eliminated, so giving you more chance for success. Here we got five correct. So that's which number. 
and as we go to the final game, which bond, we're really trying to give the students the complete picture of the relationship between these numbers. So in one case, they can choose the number. In, which case, in this case, they can choose the bond that goes with that number. Let's make it a little more challenging. We'll set it at 20. So here's our number, 15. Do 1 and 15 make 9? Or do 3 and 15 make 18? This is our correct bond, so we're going to click that. 11, 0 and 12, that doesn't make 11. 8 and 3 makes 11. Again, they can go quickly here, and they can build that number sense and that motivation. And that completes our demonstration of pond bonds, bird bonds, which number and which bond. We hope that you enjoy playing these games with your students in your classrooms and wish you great success in teaching math. Thanks a lot.